Kettlebells and sandbags are a perfect mix for an amazing conditioning workout or a strength and mobility workout. Today, Troy right here is going to start with a split jerk with just with one arm. So he's going to clean the kettlebell the one shoulder. He's going to drop underneath, split with the opposite leg forward, and walk it back up. He's going to do three repetitions each side. This is a great stability and power drill. So if you're ever looking for a way to combine your balance, athleticism, coordination, and power, this is a great drill to do. Now, because it's so demanding, you're going to perform reps only from three to five. Again, there's going to be one of our power circuits. Because the load is not high, we're going to give you yourself about 45 seconds to a minute between drills. Dip and stomp that foot out. The weight's in that front heel, the other leg extends back. Okay, occasional miss is okay. Just reset and then snap again. Nice. So you made up for it with a beautiful last drill. The next drill is going to be a shoulder drill. You know, shoulder, he's going to squat. Now instead of continuing to do just shoulder squats, what he's going to do is in between repetitions, bring it to a bear hug position, switch over to the other side. This does actually add a little more component of upper body strength to it. Also additional trunk work. This is going to be very fatiguing instead of just performing straight reps. Troy right here is performing only about two to three each side. Normally you can perform anywhere from six to ten. The sandbag being on one shoulder increases the level of demand and trunk stability while performing the squat. Very good for athletes that may also have traditionally problems with doing barbell squats. Excellent. So now we're going to move into renegade rows. So you notice that we've worked overhead, unilateral components, squatting, and trunk work. So here's going to be trunk and shoulder stability with some upper back work again. Now, because of the demand of the exercise, again, there's not going to be a high rep drill. Reps are going to range from five to eight at most. He's alternating the arms. He's pushing into one side as he drives up the other. You'll also see that his back stays nice and straight. He doesn't allow his hips to come up into the air. That's cheating. Drop weight or do less repetitions if that occurs. So now what we're going to do is an actual rotational exercise that also improves power. So if you're a throwing athlete, anyone that's martial arts, or just in general want to increase your power, this is a great drill. It's a lateral throw. He's going to swing back like a wood chop and release. The release doesn't have to be far because the weight of the back is pretty heavy. He's going to lean back on one hip, power through. It's important that you power through the hip and not rely slowly on the trunk to throw. A big step back and rotate. Again, because of the demands of the drill, about eight to ten repetitions are most. Because this is a pretty complete cycle, you want to perform this about three to five times. These drills are enough to give you a complete workout that you're not going to miss anything in the training. There goes on this final repetition. So that's another power circuit. Find more at sandbagexercises.com.